Hello, my name is Roman and today I'm going to show you 99 Ford E450 Super Duty which means that it has suspension from E550 that's what Super Duty means uh, Quigley 4x4 conversion with 7.3 power stroke turbo diesel engine This vehicle uh, was owned, serviced and operated by FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigations. And to the best of my knowledge, it was stored inside. It would otherwise be impossible to preserve this vehicle in that condition for that long. All this paint is original and is nice and shiny all around the vehicle. It is duly a rear wheels and you can see how high the vehicle sits off the ground that's because of the Quigley 4x4 conversion so it has a lot of clearance. The vehicle also has removable portable lights you can see them attached right here they are HID lights and they run off of 110 volts so once the generator is running there are plugs on the side of the van like like this one that can be connected to those lights and they will shine there is one more right here and one more right here. The vehicle also has an awning and you can actually climb on the roof too. Uh, let me see if I can do that. Everything's very very sturdy on it. Okay. And the roof is very sturdy too. I can pretty much walk anywhere. It has two, not sure if I can open it from here, ah uh, no, it gets from, from inside only. Two vents and an air conditioner, and I guess this was some satellite receiver for the FBI. I don't think this, this is connected anymore. Let me show you the generator. Okay. It's hard to operate it with one hand, but I'm trying. Oops. It's Onan Quiet Diesel 7500. You can start the generator from here. And it's actually very very quiet because when you get inside the cab and you close the door you can barely hear it I don't know if you can still hear it I can hear it, but there is almost no vibration going to the vehicle itself so it is very very quiet let me get the doors open and inside this vehicle has lots of compartments which uh, either can be used if you plan to use it as a mobile office or can be taken out if you plan to convert it to a absolute off-road vehicle let me show you just some of the compartments they're all very well done and very sturdy quality. There you go, these are the controls for the generator. We can actually shut it off right from here.
the vehicle has two fans one right here one right there and I believe that this unit is a uh, dual therm which means it's dual temperature it's a heater and it's a cooler a air conditioner I believe this is the controls for it and I believe you will need either a shore power or a generator running for it also there are controls for shore and generator and it has a power inverter on board somewhere first aid kit fire extinguisher this is another table desk which can be lifted up and you can bring the legs up up and it will stay like that one side bring this up. like that and there are plenty of power outlets everywhere as you can see there is a key box for the keys <laughs> basically every compartment has keys and everything locks and it has a refrigerator here too and it's a full size refrigerator okay. so this is how it looks inside And this desk also opens up. Okay. The doors are very well insulated. And when you close them, all these seals, they just, just listen to how it closes. It's closed. It's fully closed. <laughs> yep. It does have a hitch in the back. And the connector. Okay. Tires are Goodyear Wrangler SRA LT two twenty five seventy five sixteen, and they have plenty of thread left. This is how it looks underneath. Let me show the other side real quick. Same tires. Okay. Here we have some batteries some additional batteries they are deep cycle batteries they are for the generator and there is more lights more out, uh, outlets this is for shore power I believe that's the front tires and they are the same Wrangler Goodyear Wrangler The same here. Okay, let's start her up. The vehicle has a battery cutoff switch right here. Turn it on. Get the key. Put the key on, wait for the wait to start to come off. And then start her up. The vehicle has only 5,948 original miles. Let me show you the interior real quick. And it's absolutely amazing. The seats literally look and smell like they're brand new. And I do not exaggerate. The seat goes all the way up. And 
let's see how close it's gonna get. And this is as close as it gets to the to the steering wheel. Okay, now let's lower it. This don't really do much. Let's bring it all the way back. That's how much space we have in here. And the steering can be brought up a little bit or lowered. Or this is when it's lowered. Door panels, power windows. Power door locks. Okay. <clears throat> there are no warning lights on the dash whatsoever. The vehicle does have an overdrive right here. AC is blowing and this ice cold right now. It has a cigarette lighter which was never used and another power outlet right here. Here we have a radio. Okay, maybe let's switch to FM. Radio works. This is the ashtray. It was never used. This is the 4x4 selector. Right here. And this is the second seat. And is also literally brand new. Okay. Uh, this says that the door handle from this side is broken. And the door only slides from the outside. All of these were disconnected since this was uh, part of the emergency, I guess, systems. And uh, if you ever need to use uh, like uh, a CB radio, oh, it does not have a CB radio. I'm sorry. Uh, I guess you will need to try to reconnect it or something. Let's take her for, oh, let's show the engine and then let's take her for a test drive. Oh, and it does have a brake controller right here, if you plan to tow something. Engine runs beautiful. Okay, I have to slam it a little harder. And here we have spare tire in this compartment. And it is diesel only, obviously. Okay. It's getting too cold. It accelerates and gets to speed without any issues, without any hesitation. Okay. 
Let's test. Wipers. Windshield washers. Horn. Suspension feels amazing. It's literally brand new. I don't feel any anything. All the bumps like merge into the road. And it's very comfortable. Get her up to speed. The road is a little bumpy, but we are already doing. Good. Vehicle drives straight, brakes straight, and feels absolutely amazing. I wish we could find more of them. It says that the vehicle is 11 feet high, 9 inches, 11 and 9 inches high. Right there. 11 feet, 9 inches, I'm sorry. <laughs> The generator starts and runs only if the vehicle has more than half a tank of diesel. It's done specifically in case you are running the generator so that the vehicle does not run out of diesel. And you can still drive it after that. So if you plan to run the generator, make sure the vehicle has at least half a tank. Make sure you always turn this off, it will save the batteries for a long, long time. Hope you enjoyed it and this was a 99 Ford E450 Super Duty with a 7.3 turbo diesel engine and 5900 miles. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.